What's up everyone? So I, one of my first er, or early videos was a video on why are my earnings so low? And it's talking about basically people who are complaining that they didn't understand how to play the game of helium. And now today I have my own shirt thanks to the Helium Foundation, which they sent me as a way to promote an upcoming Helium community event. That's right, an official Helium community event that I'm gonna host up here near Minneapolis. Details are still coming, but uh, just wanted to give that little blurb. Well, and that relates to what we're going to talk about in this uh, special, hopefully sh very short um, description and, and covering of this hip that's uh, currently being uh, in debate. So, which I would love for you to participate in. And this is a way of, of creating a little bit of controversy, but just to, to collaborate and put the best ideas forward. So I wanted to talk about this and take you through it. So this is hip 83, and this is called first to uh, restore first to witness. So I've done a handy dandy chart here that if this is your hotspot in the middle here, Right now, how this works is that uh, all of the witnesses, basically, if they if they witness to you, if they're picked up and recorded, then all of them are uh, of them. Fourteen are selected to get rewarded. So they just kind of cap the number of witnesses to help performance. The original, actually, if we go back to what it was implemented a long time ago, was that basically up to X, and I can't remember what X is, somebody will probably comment and correct me here, but the the first to witness was key. So all out of all of these, and I kind of use some colored dots here, so let's just say that the green ones are actually first to witness. Well then what they would do is take the green ones and count up to 14, let's say. And if it wasn't, then say some of these orange ones came in. And then with the red ones, they were the longest to reply or to respond. So then they may get earnings, they may not. That was the original intent. And so what? why, why were they doing this? Well, the reason that they did this was because they needed to just promote uh, execution and deal with some, some uh, computation problems. But the key idea in this is all around this, uh, the idea of sensors. Uh, and I call it an SLA. And if you don't know what an SLA is, it's a service level agreement. So basically how sensor, sensors operate is that they have to do these things called downlinks and uplinks in order to communicate with our hotspots and get rewarded. So this is what we're all after. We want DC to be burned. So it makes sense that as this network is witnessing, that we're being rewarded according to this sensor SLA. Well, now here's where the deviation starts, is that if you have a setup that is not so great, then you would not be, probably not be rewarded under this. You might be rewarded sometimes, but not others. If you have a red hotspot, now maybe this one might be good. It's, it's less about signal and it's more about network quality. Uh, I put a couple reasons down that that uh, over here about like if you're only using Wi-Fi or if there's just a lag in your connection or if um, you have a bad network or you're using a VPN or something like that. Basically just network performance that are, is limiting your ability to respond quickly, right? So that's what this is all about. It's mimicking sensors and that's what we want. We want to uh, promote DC usage in the network and so it gets to that but it doesn't like voting for this hip isn't just going to make DC usage go up uh, by any means but it's just making the network uh, I, I use the word integrity but it's 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 more about performance uh, and making sure that it's performing uh, to the expectations so if there are customers that are wanting to get on the network but they know that the uh, milliseconds in responding is outside of the limits of this they're not going to be want to want to be a, get their sensors on the network. So that's why this is so important. So, and, and I'll just say right now, I am a supporter of this of this hip. I think it's a good idea to get to this point, but there are some really interesting um, uh, debate about this because uh, they some of the I think it was the authors or at least somebody uh, one of the supporters said that basically in this. The rich would get richer and the poor poor would get poorer. 
and that basically it's becoming a, a less participatory. So if you have a setup out here that you were getting rewarded previously, but it wasn't, you didn't have the best setup in terms of network connection, then basically your earnings would go down. Whereas if somebody had an ultimately awesome setup, they had great network connectivity, right to the ISP, very few things in between, all of that kind of stuff, well then their earnings would go up because then they would be first to respond. They're not having to wait to be randomly selected. So that's the thing is that like the elite hotspot setups would get more earnings for them. All right, so hopefully that, that gets like kind of the initiative or in the context of that decision about this participatory versus uh, rewarding the highest performing hotspots. I did want to throw out some proposals that have been suggested via the talk and uh, go through those. So the first one is to do the first to witness, but then they would raise the witness count to 25 instead of 14. And this was... Uh, I just love this discussion in the channel on Discord because it is talking, it was actually using data, uh, using existing data out on the network. So big shout out to Helium Geek. Uh, if you don't know what they are, they're basically an app that you can put on your phone and then analyze your earnings for your hotspots. And they're actually modeling out some of this stuff, I believe in their paid subscription uh, version of the app. So you, they, and then they're contributing data to uh, help uh, reinforce these decisions and see if they're good decisions. So I believe that under this, uh, under this uh, proposal, as it is under the current current understanding, that you would get uh, that if we made this change, that basically it was like four percent of of hotspots would see their earnings lower. If I'm if I'm getting that right, so of the whatever, near 400,000 uh, hotspots that are on the network, you would see whatever, 4% of those um, have their earnings lower. And they're not going away by any means, but they, they are going lower. So then under this notion right here of increasing that 14 number to 25 as a kind of a way to balance and make it a little bit more participatory, then it dropped that number of, of that would receive lower rewards to about 1%. And if we're trying to make some uh, bigger changes in the network to help those hotspots, encourage hotspot owners to move their hotspots out to other locations where it's less dense, that might be a motivator for them. But uh, basically in, in coming up with uh, one proposal that I did is that I'm, I'm not sure if that's enough yet. The like earnings would go down, but you wouldn't have any idea that you have a lower performing hotspot unless you had some of those metrics available. If you had like the milliseconds to, to respond uh, right and available to you. They do this uh, for Freedom Fi and it's just off my camera over here. I can just pick it up and move it over here. So for mobile, there are uptimes that you have to have a, a decent connection that's I think under 200 milliseconds. It might even be less than that. Basically you have to have a really good performance time in order to get rewarded, to get the full earnings for your hotspot. So this is kind of like that, but they have metrics available, which would be very, very helpful to hotspot owners to analyze their setup. And like I've talked about from the beginning, making your earnings higher, right? So now I wanted to talk about my proposal. So my proposal is taking this original question that I that I helped you answer, why am I healing, or why am I, helium earnings down to change it to why are my helium earnings variable and this is how I, I'm proposing to do it to do it because I like this whole idea of participatory and that there's variation in the network but as a means to help the community of hotspot owners understand what's going on in their setups we don't necessarily have that millisecond response rate today. I mean, you can probably dig into the data and figure it out, but most people are not gonna do that. My, my argue, argument or my bet is that they're looking at their earnings. That's the only thing, if they are even paying attention to earnings, then this would help them understand, oh, there's a weird you know, issue with my setup. And so this was my proposal, is that basically we rotate back and forth, we flip flop, between the two algorithms. So our current of that, that they're randomly selected 
and then we go back to first to witness. We would we would enact the hip, and that's why again I'm a supporter of the hip. But what would this would do is make your earnings on a daily basis, depending on your setup. Let's say that you had the worst setup, you would see hills and valleys in your earnings. And my proposal is that it would just be changing on the daily. So that way we could get some quick up and down. Like you would see a high amount of volatility in your earnings if you had a very poor setup. So what did that look like then? For each of these, I kind of just drew a, a little graph of earnings in that if you had an amazing setup, your earnings might actually be higher overall because you're hitting well, um you're hitting the first to witness, right? You would see very little volatility on the days that you were not randomly selected, then your earnings would go down, but by and large, your earnings would, would probably go up if you were doing the first to witness, on those first to witness days. And then if your setup was very poor, like I said, you'd have this high volatility. Every day, you would see your earnings go up on potentially the days where you're randomly selected, and then the earnings would go down on the days that it's, that it's doing the first to witness. And this is my kind of signal to hotspot owners that you have some network issues that you need to sort out in your setup. And I could make a video that instead says, why are my earnings down? It would say, why are my earnings so volatile? And then that would help people uh, you know, get on YouTube and, and, or, or Google that and understand a little bit more about improving their setups because that's what we want. I mean, I think that, that, that improving all setups, like I, I keep going from the mindset of, I only have one hotspot. I want to improve that thing the best I can and I need whatever metrics available that I can to make that better, right? <laughs> to the point where I put a tower up, you know, <laughs> in my backyard to, to put, to, you know, earn more. Now, not everybody's gonna do that, right? So, um, that's what it kind of gets back to though, is how can I get this information and help educate you as a hotspot owner to improve your earnings? So bottom line, HIP83 is out there. It's for discussion in Discord. I definitely recommend you put your ideas out there. And if you have any thoughts about these other proposals out here, throw them in the comments down below or get on Discord and, and debate. I have found very few allies for this kind of flip-flop idea on Discord. The authors, they don't, they don't like this. They want to just go to first to witness. And I, and I, they have some very valid points. And I, I, again, I'm a, I support the hip. I would like to see this because this helps educate hotspot owners. So get on, put your comments down below, uh, like and subscribe this video, make sure to share it with others. The Helium community is very much still very active in development and making decisions like this. So I wanna encourage you all to get on there and then also get on to vote. If you haven't downloaded the latest version of the Helium Wallet app, you should be able to do that now and participate in the voting procedures. And if you have any questions, for, for sure drop them below and until then, carpet and pestis, everyone.